After the past 18 months, the Grand Round Symphony hasn't been performing in person or rehearsing in person. And finally, we've gotten back together. We started rehearsals back in late September, and we've been putting together a concert program to present to everybody next Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. over at Eastern Oregon University and McKenzie Theater. In addition to our Wednesday evening concert, on November 17th, we have a second performance on Saturday, November 20th in Baker City. Um, this will be our second time, I think, in three years uh, performing at the St. Francis de Sales Cathedral right over there in Baker. Um, the concert will start at 1 p.m. It's going to be a very exciting program. We are opening with um, a very energetic, exciting piece by Johannes Brahms. It's called the Academic Festival Overture. It's certainly very festive, and that'll be sure to sort of snap everybody back into it, and it's our way of saying, hey, we're still here. After that opening number, we're gonna feature the Concerto Aria competition winner from last season. Oboist Molly Trindle will be playing the Mozart Oboe Concerto in C major. So we're very excited to be hosting a guest artist. Um, she's actually related to our symphony president, uh, Alice Trindle. So that's really exciting for her. Um, and we will close out the concert with the you know ever classic, ever uh, important orchestral work, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Something very meaningful and touching for I think all audience members when they hear those opening notes. Bum, 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 bum. Um, you know, it, it's stirring. Um, it's, a, it's sort of a visceral experience when you're in the audience and you're, you're hearing um, this music that has been battle tested over the centuries. And uh, here it remains uh, popular in, in concert halls everywhere. We've had a lot of smaller projects here and there, some chamber music events. Um, we've had a string orchestra event, and as we were preparing for this fall concert and to start our rehearsal sequence, um, we had to remind everybody, hey, um, we are now able to rehearse in person again. Um, thanks to the folks in the, mu and the music department at EOU, we are welcomed back in the building, um, and so that, that took some time and effort to notify everybody and sort of get the band back together as they say and uh, it's been a challenge I think for everybody to sort of find a groove and find a routine um, not only for showing up to rehearsals but it, uh, when you play this kind of orchestral music it requires a lot of uh, practice on your own at home and um, you know I'm very very proud of all of our orchestra members for really stepping up to the plate and jumping back in with quite an ambitious program um, after such a long hiatus.